Hello everyone and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck spotlight. We're here with a, uh, a really interesting one. I've got Machamp's Hybrid Hunter, uh, who apparently reached uh, rank 1 legend. The deck comes to us courtesy of uh, Sir Magic 101 Love your work. Uh, they actually did a, did a bit of a write-up for the deck as well, which I really appreciate. So we're going to be uh, playing some games with a, a little bit of a mulligan guide and some uh, some extra information. So what is Hybrid Hunter? I was kind of thinking about this uh, before the uh, before I started recording. Uh, and I guess this is supposed to be a hybrid between Spell or, or Secret Hunter. So we've got these this secret package here of Explosive Trap, Freezing Trap and Wandering Monster. Uh, and we've also got the payoff for playing those secrets, which is Lesser Emerald Spellstone. So we're going to play a bunch of secrets, upgrade this, and on five we can hopefully summon four 3-3 three, three wolves, which is a phenomenal rate. Uh, so usually in those, uh, those spell hunter decks, we they, they, you know cut all the monsters out, the minions out of it, uh, and play Rock Dollar at the end as a uh, as big value play. They also play Deathstalker XR as a way to generate minions without actually playing minions, um, and it's kind of more of a more of a kind of controlling deck. Um, even though a lot of the deck does cost uh, very little, and it can kill you on you know turn six. Uh, so instead, of Machamp's uh, taken the the probably the beefier side side of that deck outside of the Rock Dollar. He's taking the most uh, that they've, they've taken the most impressive part and combined it with kind of like a mid range uh, face hunter kind of feel. So we see the Dire Mole Crackling Razor Mole. We've got uh, in the middle. I, I really like this uh, Bear Shark, and we've even got uh, Houndmaster there. So. If, uh, I'm going to be really uh, wanting to hit this Bear Shark Houndmaster on curve. Uh, and outside of that, uh, just it's kind of typical Hunter feel. Um, the most interesting parts of this are, is one Dire Mole enough? We've talked about this before with, with Hunter decks where, you know, unfortunately outside of Dire Mole, there really aren't a, bunch, a lot of great one-drop beasts. So, and I guess Crackling Razor Mole just as a 3-2-1-2 two two is going to be fine against aggro decks. But a lot of the time, we really do want to hit this uh, this curve. So it'll be interesting to see if we how often we can do that. Uh, I'd like to see how good these Unleash the Hounds are in the current meta game. I, I suspect that there's going to be some really good matchups, but there might also be some matchups where we we want one or zero of these, especially because we don't have any of the uh, scavenging hyenas. This bad boy right here. Don't have any of those, so we don't don't have much uh, kind of uh, much to combo with this outside of maybe getting Leoc off of uh, Animal Companion. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we'll jump into some games. And we'll see how this hybrid. All right, we're here with a game up against Priest. So unless this is uh, like Inner Fire, I would say this Wandering Monster. He's not going to do anything. Uh, we'll keep tracking to hopefully find our spell stone. I, I believe that's the idea of uh, having all these trackings in the deck. Not the greatest start, but if we can find the uh, spell stone off this tracking, I feel much better. No, I feel terrible. Take this Houndmaster with the game plan of ping next turn, bear shark. Uh, hope that they don't coin Duskbreaker. And then follow it up with a Houndmaster. I think they might. Uh, Especially if we play the bear shark, they might kind of... They've already used the coin, so we, we might be okay. Creeper? It is in a fight. Alright. Gosh. 
alarm bells going off in my head. It's just so, that's really scary. Like, coin blade master. Into an empty board. Let the pain speak to me. Well, I don't know how good Rexar is going to be here. If we get, if we get an opportunity to, uh, to land him, it might actually be okay. That's interesting. Uh, we can bump in here, but then we're pretty weak to wild pyro. So I think we actually want to trade off. Yeah, so we're trying to play around pyro, not duskbreaker. If this is... Hmm. Let's just jump over to HS replays for a second. And let's take a gander if any of these uh, inner fire priests are playing Spellbreaker. See, if they are not playing Spellbreaker, we can feel, f we can feel free to uh, gear up this bear shark. Uh -huh, and not... Eat a silence. Which would pipe uh Oh this one plays Duskbreaker. Interesting, so there are Duskbreaker variants out there. I guess I did recommend the Duskbreaker package in my in my budget version video, so maybe the one person out there. No, no spellbreakers. Super interesting. Alright. Save these secrets for the uh, for the spellstone. So there are dustbreaker versions out there. I'm powered steambot. A couple of steambot bot versions, but most of these steambot bot versions do not have a uh, do not have. The uh, Dustbreaker. They're on Pyro. So do we just beat this thing down? I wonder. Play Rexxar? Well, probably. Thing is, freezing trap, freezing trap really um, goose this deck up. So now that we've drawn it, we really we shouldn't lose as long as we kind of play tight. Opponent can draw a million cards. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Probably don't like give them bananas. Yeah, this is a lot of options there. Like we could have uh, kill commanded the radiant elemental. We could have kill commanded the the steam bot. Master spell. How many master spells are being played? Oh, there's a couple. Yeah. Like some, some decks leaning on one, some leaning on two. I will Ooh, you die. the big rips of the uh, wandering monster. The heck. That's a real interesting. So they can go off. They can do thirty-five. Yeah, forty-eight. So you definitely should have uh, should have kill commanded that radiant elemental there. Obvious thing. Well, I think two divine spirits. Yeah, they, they needed the, the steam bot to go off. Hmm, unfortunate. I think we definitely could have, uh, could have played it. Surprised you didn't kill Command the Wall, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know, there were a, a lot of thoughts going on in my head. Between kill commanding the bot or the, the Radiant Elemental. Um. Rexa versus yeah. Rexa. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Begin. Alright, let's see if we are in the uh, in the mirror. Wandering monster is probably good. We'll, we'll keep the tracking. Able to heal and draw two guys is painful too, yeah. I, I think because they were one divine him down, I was like, oh, that's... Like, it feels like a lot of... Uh, Explosive trap. Uh, it. I think any combination of us dying definitely required them to have uh, the second divine him there. So this would be interesting if they're on spell hunter. This is a matchup that I both have not played and haven't seen, so I'm not sure if we need to be the beatdown or if, uh, Follow the rules. or if uh, we need to kind of play the long game. Playing the long game against Rock Delar doesn't seem like the uh, greatest move in the world.
good like them playing explosive trap for no value to my side. I don't particularly want to do the same although if they are spell hunter Tough. Not knowing if it's the uh, the mirror or otherwise. Yeah. Damn it. We're just trading terrible uh, terrible value to my side. Okay, so this. So we can Rexar and hit here. We can uh, flanking. Hmm. We can flanking coin unleash. I think getting the five armor and getting value off this battle cry though is uh, really important to me. They are just spells, yeah, they played, uh, to my side. How much is this? This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If we hit kill command off this, they're dead. Second unleash? Uh, so six plus six, seven, eight, mm, six, six, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, yeah, so there we go. So just as I was saying the the uh I was kinda questioning the unleash the hounds uh on like numbers we have a game where we need exactly to unleash the hounds to kill them. Thank you. It looked like a super easy Rexile board. Yeah, it did look that way, but then I guess when they followed up with the uh, the the spell stone probably should have thought thought about that, maybe. Though the fact that we were so far off of going, uh, like, Rexar Hounds for the full clear. Rexar versus Valera. Watch your back. Let the hunt begin. Alright. Against Rogue. Hmm. This is a really, this is a really hard uh, choice here. Like I understand tracking is is excellent. It's one of the only two one drops that we can actually play on turn one. But it really sucks to give up another chance at hitting the diamol, which, particularly in this matchup, is our best is going to be our best play on turn one. Oh my gosh. Three cards that are incredible in this matchup. But given our turn two play, let's go Spellstone. 
The deck has three billion. It has a billion three drops. You're not wrong. Not wrong. It's always weird to see those like uh, those one-off tech cards. So in this case, the the deadly shot. I think it kind of uh, kind of feels like a bit of a tech card. It's really interesting to see those tech cards also in the uh, the place in the deck that already has the most spells. Never pass up the spellstone. Does feel that way. Does does feel that way. does uh i think it's more the expressing that it sucks to uh sucks to lose the wandering monster interesting attack there i thought for sure they would not uh they wouldn't jump in if that's a wandering monster like that could be terrible for you This guy's toast. Like, even if they, uh, even if, like, a 3-3 three, three jumps out, like, you know, you put a damage on it, you can't backstab it, now you have to try and commit a, uh, an SI to it. Hmm. Do we go wolves and hope that that gives us, makes them commit a bit more so that the Rex, we can get the Rex are down? Mm -hmm. Or do we go like bear shark, get it killed by this and hero power, they get on the board, they get initiative. I guess then we have Rex to follow up with. Hmm. But re realistically we get like one or two more draws. We get two more draws to, to hit another secret, and we get one more wolf. No, let's throw it out here. That's really interesting, though. I'd love to hear hear everyone's thoughts on, you know, Welcome going for the uh, the spell stone there versus, like, bear shark hero power. Even kill command hero power. Mm, it does leave us with nothing in play, but maybe that's, maybe that's where we want to be. We want to entice them. Uh, we'll just go kill command bear shark here. Hmm. What if we get vanished? That'd suck. Pushes a lot of damage through. Gives us a bit of initiative on board. Especially going into like uh Yeah, if we had nothing to play the Sunrex, I would do nothing. It's a very like wonky, like you know, if they happen to Like they'd really have to run into us pretty hard. Um Huh. This does look good. Yeah, I'm vibing that we're, uh, we're just going to slay face. Hmm. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Put them on eight. No, yeah, they have to have a pretty good auctioneer turn. Hmm. You would have snapped off Rexar there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I totally, totally vibe that. Given the follow-up, um, this looks good, but if they did have a better follow-up, then, uh, we'd, um, if they had a better follow-up, then we'd be in a much better position, um, had we played Rexar, I think. This is a lot of pressure. The turn you play Rex is tempo negative turn, so the longer you wait on it, the more likely you never get a turn you can afford to play it again. It's true. Ha, 
This guy's toast. Though, our opponent is dead. Okay. This rogue. Eagle Hunt bow is pretty good. Send these back, try and hit our, uh, our dime all, raise them all. This is my f your first time hearing a shuttle walk turn. Do you usually play sound off? Have a good one, right? Thanks for popping by. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Boy, out of here. If they want to, if they want to not attack and not trigger this, that is just okay with me. It does cost us a, a lot to uh, do that. But we really need to kind of stem the bleeding a little bit. Try and last until we hit this uh, Rexar turn. That's weird. Mistakes were made. So we've set ourselves up to be in a pretty good turn to uh, to drop Rexar. As uh, as we were talking about with the last road match, what Ray mentioned that you know playing this Rexar is a massive tempo loss. So in order to mitigate that, we want to have a very good turn leading into it. Oof! The full clear. things we need to be concerned about is uh, the burst damage our opponent can can put out potentially it's a big boy
person loves hero power. Oh, my pig son this guy's betrayed me. Let's start some oh. trouble. Our, our opponent actually uh, almost almost played around that. Don't feel good about this though, like, 14 is way too low against this kind of deck. I can imagine there's like a uh, bunch of shadow steps waiting, the shadow steps floating around with uh, Leroy's and stuff. There once was a man from Gilnes. Ooh. I like that. Another cool Twitter. First, uh, that first discovery off the zombie beast was really tough. I don't think we want to be putting uh, he's got Leroy. Don't think we want to be putting uh, for, like one mana four threes in a day. Ugh. So we'd have a four, four, five minus four, two that sounds or something. We need a hit. We need to hit like, uh, well played. like a charged devil zor, and the two-one life link leech. Whilst they have something on the board. Yeah. 
Gratis. Okay. Another rogue. This is the same one. No. Definitely keep this spell stone. Oh my gosh. So it's the same, same kind of build. Yeah, I guess we'll just try and fully charge this uh, spell stone. A lot of these, a lot of these are uh, like pickpocket rogue kind of decks. Do have a really strong late game. You'll be just like me. That's pretty good. Fan of knives, this one. Get to uh, Misha. Oh. <laughs> now, fans like still pretty bad for us. Lose our whole board. Do you see fan in? Hmm. Almost all of these lists, at least one. Oftentimes two. Backstab for this? No, you do not. Let's just uh, get aggro with it. Got our uh, spell stone ready to go. Our opponent has stolen no spells. Oh, they they hallucinated something, right? They hallucinated the kill. Interesting. Brotherhood shall Welcome to the fray, Mr. Van Cleef. Alright, what you got? See if they have, like, uh, Thalmos fan, Blood Mage fan. No. Got him. Bit of a wonky start there for them. I think we were that uh, that wandering monster was really good for us too. So let's take a look at the deck. 
uh, felt like everything, all the pieces kind of came together there. Uh, the Unleash the Hounds was uh, amazing in uh, in the games that we played it in. Uh, oftentimes, you know, winning us the game. We'll say we didn't really face a lot of uh, control matchups, and I think that's the one where we really want to uh, test to see if it's a just how mu- if it's a brick, how much of a brick is it um, versus how good it is in the the other matchups. Uh, still unsure about this the the whole. Like one of Diamol, one of Crackling Razormore. Uh, I guess if we look at uh, all of the two drops available to to Hunter, there really isn't a lot out there that's better than you know even just a vanilla three two. But if we're so inconsistently hitting this Diamol, Crackling Razormore, like you know, could we just be playing stuff like Acidic Swampoos, Berserker? Even these pirates could be pretty good. Direwolf Alpha, you know, Loot Hoarders, Knife Jugglers. There's a lot of, there is actually a lot of, a lot of reasonable two drops out there that, um, I think this, it's just worth something, uh, thinking about whenever you make a, a, a Hunter deck, you know, uh, am I getting full value off of cards like these, these Razor Maws or even things like Hound Masters? Um, but yeah, Secrets felt good. Uh, we, Definitely could have played better with, uh, like, the explosive trap and stuff. But, yeah, great deck. Uh, if you are a Hunter player and you're just looking for something a little bit different, a little bit of uh, a little bit of variety, definitely give this one a craft. Uh, and once again, I, I do want to give a big thank you to uh, Machamp for creating the deck and to Sir Magic for sharing that over on Hearthpone. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, the link will be in the description. Go check out the deck. Give it a thumbs up. Give it an upvote. Um, check out the Mulligan guide and the gameplay guide. They've even got a video up there. Uh, I'm sure they're significantly better than myself. So uh, check that out. And uh, until next time, I hope everyone has a uh, fantastic day, fantastic night, and I'll see you soon.